Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, how to configure Bone CP connection polling. Uh, to explain this one, I will use uh, Oracle database and uh, Tomcat server. Okay. Uh, here you can see the Tomcat server. Uh, suppose say uh, if you are deploying web application in the Tomcat server, uh, during the server startup, uh, we can uh, uh, call the context listener and uh, using that context listener, we can initialize the connection pool. And once the connection pool is initialized throughout the application, we can use the same connection pool. And from that connection pool, we can get the connection object and communicate to the database. Okay. I will explain how to do that one in the next. Uh, here you can see the employees table, uh, which is there in the HR uh, database. I am executing this query. Uh, the query is uh, select employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number from employees. So I got this result. Uh, now using uh, connection pooling concept, how to get uh, this employee information from the employees uh, table, uh, we will see now. Okay. Uh, to explain uh, Bone CP connection pooling concept, I have created the project called uh, Employee Info Demo. Uh, in this project, uh, in lib folder, I have put all the Bone CP related jars and the dependent jars. Okay. Also, I have put uh, OJDBC jar. Uh, this jar is needed uh, to connect to the Oracle uh, database. Okay. And uh, also in uh, web.xml, I have configured one listener class and one uh, servlet. The servlet is uh, employee info servlet. URL pattern for that uh, servlet is uh, employee info. Okay. Uh, now I will deploy this application in uh, Tomcat server. File, export, select war file, browse and I am placing uh, the war file inside the Tomcat web apps folder. Finish. Then I am starting the server. Uh, the server has been uh, started. Uh, here you can see uh, contacts initialized method has been called and uh, contacts is initialized and uh, connection pooling is configured. Okay. So like I explained uh, in web.xml, uh, I have configured uh, contacts listener. Uh, this contacts listener uh, will be called uh, during uh, server startup. Okay. And uh, this contacts initialized method will be called. And uh, from this method, I am calling uh, configure bone CP connection pool method, uh, which is there in the connection manager. Okay. So this connection manager uh, uh, is a class uh, in that uh, I declared bone CP connection pool and uh, setter and getter method for this uh, bone CP connection pool object. Uh, in configure bone cp connection pool method what i am doing is uh, first i am loading the oracle driver using uh, class dot for name then i am creating uh, object of uh, bone cp config and uh, then i am setting uh, oracle database uh, url and username and password of uh, oracle database and i am setting uh, uh, minimum connection in the partition and maximum connection in the partition and the partition count okay then i am passing uh, bone cp config to the uh, new bone cp uh, constructor and it will return the bone cp connection pool okay uh, that uh, bone cp connection pool uh, i am setting here okay so it will call uh, this method and uh, we'll get uh, connection pool here uh, that connection pool i am setting in this uh, variable okay and uh, using uh, this get connection pool method uh, throughout the application we can get this uh, bone cp connection pool and uh, from that connection pool we can get the connection object and communicate to the database okay so uh, connection pool has been uh, set up uh, now i will open url and i will show you the uh, output okay uh, here is the url i am going to click uh, enter Uh, this will display uh, index.html content. I am opening index.html and uh, it has uh, one link uh, show employee information and when you click this link uh, it will uh, 
send request to the server and uh, uh, url pattern is uh, employee info okay and uh, this employee info url pattern is configured in web.xml here you can see uh, so when you click this link uh, the request goes to the server and the url pattern is employee info that is configured in uh, web.xml and uh, that will call uh, employee info servlet uh, the employee info servlet extends http servlet and it has uh, init method uh, do get method and uh, destroy method and also i have defined uh, one uh, show uh, employee information method which is a private method and uh, this init method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this servlet and uh, here what i am doing is uh, uh, from connection manager i am getting the connection pool okay so this method will be called and it will return the bone cp connection pool okay uh, once i get the connection pool object uh, i am setting that uh, connection pool object to the class variable okay uh, then the servlet container will call the do get method uh, in do get method what i am doing is uh, uh, first i am getting the print writer object uh, using response dot get writer method then calling the show employee information method uh, in this method what i am doing is uh, i am getting connection object from the uh, bone cp connection pool and once i get the connection object i am creating the statement by calling uh, connection dot create statement method uh, it will return the statement object and uh, then i am executing the query by calling uh, statement dot execute query method i am passing the sql sql is uh, select employee id first name last name email phone number from employees and uh, this statement dot execute query method will return the result set and uh, once i get the result set object i am iterating the result set object and uh, getting each row from the employees table and uh, displaying okay after that i am closing uh, result set and uh, statement object and the connection okay so here you can see the output uh, we got uh, employee information from the oracle database uh, table okay and uh, this employee info servlet has uh, destroy method uh, this method will be called uh, when we shut down the server okay uh, this method will be called by the servlet container I will uh, shut down the server. So here you can see uh, destroy method has been called and the servlet is destroyed. Also, uh, the context destroy method has been called and the context is destroyed and connection pooling is shut down. Okay. So when uh, server shut down, uh, this uh, context destroyed method will be called. Uh, that is there in the context listener. Uh, so in the destroyed method uh, what i am doing is uh, i am calling connection manager dot uh, shutdown bone cp connection pool okay so in this method uh, what i am doing is uh, from connection manager i am getting the connection pool object if it is not null i am uh, shutting down okay and uh, this will be done only one time okay when uh, context is uh, destroyed uh, we have to shut down the connection pool okay and if you want to know more about this uh, bone cp uh, you can go to this url uh, joelbox.com and it has information about the bone cp and uh, if you want to download uh, bone cp related uh, jars and uh, dependent jars uh, you can go to the uh, maven repository uh, this is the url okay and uh, this is about uh, bone cp connection pooling and uh, thanks for watching bye